Welcome back to Cord Cutters LI. If you're like me and you take your privacy seriously, then like me, you never want your VPN to suddenly disconnect while watching your favorite movies or TV shows on your streaming device. But if it does, which it does happen from time to time, you want to know about it right away. If you've been using a VPN like IPVanish or ExpressVPN, then you probably already know about the various VPN indicator apps that have been around as well. Basically, you run this app in addition to your VPN and you see a small dot or an icon in the corner of the screen so you always know if you're connected and protected. You'll find some links in the description below to a couple of my videos where I show you all of them. Well, my guess is that IPVanish has been keeping an eye on all of this and recently came out with a VPN status indicator built right into their app. So you no longer need to have an extra app open to know if your privacy is protected while streaming. In this video, I'm going to show this to you and how it works. However, depending on the streaming device you use, getting this to work ranges from easy peasy to, hmm, maybe I'll stick with my old VPN dot. Let's see. So if you're ready to see this new feature from IPVanish in action, sit back, relax, and let's go. Okay, so I'm going to show you this feature first with the on 4K streaming box from Walmart. This has Google TV. This version will be the same as what you'd see on Android TV, uh, like the NVIDIA Shield or, you know, some of the other boxes like the TiVo Stream 4K and so on. Let's open up IP Vanish. Then you want to go to the right to go to the gear and go into that. Scroll down to where it says VPN status indicator. It's going to tell you right away that you need to change a permission. It says allow drawing over other apps because this app is going to be putting a little green dot over there in the corner when the VPN is active. It needs to have the permission to do that. So we'll just go down and go into open settings. And let me move myself out of the way here for a second. It brings you to the section in the permissions for allow display over other apps. You want to go down to IP vanish and make sure that that's checked. Then you can hit the back button and it brings you right back in there. Change that to on. And as you can see over there in the right hand corner, a little gray dot appeared, right? And that's a gray at this point because the VPN is not connected at the moment. There's some settings over here I want to show you, but it's easier to show you with the VPN connected. And I'll explain that in a minute. So you go back and back again, and then click on the connect button. Now let's go over and go back into the gear down to VPN status indicator. All right, so now let's look at some of these settings. First of all, this was just to turn it on and off. We've already done that. Move over to transparency. This is where you can set how dark you want that app to look, or I should say how bright it will be on the screen. You can just change this left and right. If you go to the left, you see that little preview dot is getting more vivid and easier to see. We'll just leave it at a high setting for now. And then there's another setting over here where it says hide on connect. And that's an option that you could choose if you want to. And what that'll do is it's only going to show up if the VPN is disconnected. I'm not a real fan of this setting because it shows up, but it's gray when it shows up and it's very hard to see. I'll show you that when we get back out to the home screen. And let's do that now. So that green dot will always be there in the corner to let you know that you're connected and protected. If it's too bright for you, you can always go back into the app and change it. I'm going to bring it down to about half of this brightness. So I think that that's somewhat inconspicuous. Let's open something up and see if it's annoying at all. I'm just going to open up a quick random show of anything. Not going to play it for long. So there you go. In this case, it's actually off the screen because you've got the wide letterbox uh, screen and it's off the bottom. So this is not going to be in the way at all. So there you go. That's how it works on the Android TV or Google TV interface. Let's now switch over to the Fire Stick and see how we make out over there. Okay, so here I have the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K Max. This has worked the same for me on all the different Fire Sticks I've tried. Let's go into IP Vanish and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the same thing applies here. Let's go over to the gear and go in there. Let's go down to where it says VPN status indicator and click on that. It brings you to that same screen where it says allow drawing over other apps. Go down and click open settings. And look what happens. It dumps you out to the home screen. There is no way to change this app 
In fact, I thought perhaps if we go into the settings and we go into the manage installed applications and go down to IP vanish and we can look at some permissions in there perhaps, right? So I go into permissions and there's blank, there's nothing there. So I don't know if this is a oversight. Actually, I feel it is an oversight on IP Vanish's part to get this integration working properly on the Fire Stick. Um, I've tried updating the Fire Stick and I've tried updating the IP Vanish to the latest version, and this doesn't work. Now, it's not to say that you can't use this VPN uh, status indicator dot. It just means that there's a lot of hoops you got to jump through to make it happen. In fact, so many hoops that I don't really even want to bother showing you because I feel, in my opinion, that you're probably better off, if you'd use the Fire Stick, you might be better off using uh, one of the other privacy dots uh, that I've talked about in the past in earlier videos. Uh, and like I said, I'll put some links down there. If you do insist that you do want to get this feature to work, I want to give a plug to a good friend of mine, Tech Doctor UK. He recently did a video showing this uh, procedure on the Fire Stick, and there's an application that you need to install, um, Permissions Manager X, I believe it's called, and he kind of lays that out for you. But like I said, it's a it's a bit tedious and may not be worth doing. So after you check this video out, I'll put a link to his video in the description as well. Check his out, and you you know see what, see for yourself if you think it's worth it. So there we go. It's a pretty short video. I wanted to show you how this worked. Uh, it works great on Android TV and Google TV. The IP Vanish status indicator dot doesn't work so well out of the box on the Fire TV devices. But maybe it's just me. If you've tried this on your Fire Stick and it worked for you, please put some comments down there below. I'd like to hear from you. While we're on the subject of VPNs, IP Vanish is running with their best price all year. You may want to check this out because 75% off at VPN is an awesome price, less than $3. You just click on this here, you'll see. For a two-year subscription, it's $2.92, a little over $3 if you just want to buy it for a year. This is the best price they do all year. I don't think they're going to do this again, probably until Black Friday. So if you're coming up to the end of your subscription, it may just be best to go ahead and cancel that. Click on the link in the description below and find this deal. It's the best price you're going to get anywhere on IP Vanish right now. So there you go, the latest feature of IP Vanish, the VPN status indicator dot. Give this a try the next time you're in front of your streaming device and let me know how it goes in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. If you learned anything here today, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, share this and all of your favorite Cord Cutters LI videos with your friends. This not only helps to get my videos shown to more people on YouTube, it also helps to support the channel. So thanks for watching.